So guys, for the first step, you're gonna head over to search and type in File Explorer. Click on it. And then once you're on this on the left hand side, you're gonna scroll down and click on this PC. Now you wanna find the drive that has Windows installed on it. It's gonna have the Windows logo on it. Now once you find it, you're gonna double click on it and then click on Windows. Now you're gonna scroll down till you find Software Distribution. We're gonna scroll down till you find Software Distribution. Double click on it. You're gonna delete everything in this folder. Hide over this, delete. Click on Use for Current Items. Continue. If you get this, click on Cancel. Most of the things in this folder will be deleted. And now for the next step, you wanna head over to Search again and type in Services. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you wanna scroll down till you find Background Intelligent Transfer Service. Double click on it. Change the startup type to Automatic and then click on Start. Which will then make the service status running and then click on OK. Now you wanna click on W on your keyboard. You wanna scroll down till you find Windows Update. Double click on it. Startup type, automatic, click on start, which should then make the service status running, and then click on OK. And now for the last step, you're gonna head over to search again and type in troubleshoot settings. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you're gonna click on other troubleshooters. Now you're gonna find Windows Update, click on run. Wait for this to load. If it detects anything, it will fix it for you. And then once you complete all these steps, you just wanna restart your computer, and then the problem should be fixed.